are going to be called with them back on the word of the Lord. I welcome each and of every one last more again by the grace of the Almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome you onto the Light Light Prayer Fellowship from Canada, from the United States, from Australia, from UK, from Ghana, from South Africa, from wherever you are listening unto us or wherever you are joined, I know tonight is a night of divine encounter, is a night of divine mercies, is a night of exchanging our weaknesses with the strength of God in the name of Jesus. Our first prayer point I want us to pray is in the book of Luke chapter 5 verse 17 and it came to a certain time when Jesus was preaching the word of God. The power of God was present to heal. We are going to pray this our Lord God and thy word coming. Let the power of God be present to heal. Every problem that follow your people to the prayer line, let it correspond and power manifest as the word of God is being preached and the word of God is being opened in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, we thank you this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. As many as we gather on the night right prayer line, you pray, in O God, may your word not come as an ordinary message. You always say that you are not the one that you will lie, and you study and you will not do it, and the rain comes down and the snow comes down as well. And as we return, O God, on this place, on this it has water, the earth, keep it seed to the shore and bread to the earth, so shall you let your word, Father, that we are about to hear it, and shall not return. Oh, <laughs> 
that's in them. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8. Yes, please. Either you read the Amplified or King David Version okay. or the message or the Passion. Isaiah, Isaiah. The Gospel of Isaiah. Okay. Okay. Isaiah 49, verse 8. Isaiah 40, 40 verse, eight. verse 8. And the Amplified... Four zero. Reads, yes. Okay. And the amp, Amplified reads, This is what the mm -hmm. Lord says. In a favorable mm -hmm. time, I have answered you. And in a day of salvation, I have helped you. And I will keep Amen. watch over you and give you for a covenant of the people to restore the land. Yes, from... yes. Did you read Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8? Oh, my apologies. Let me see here. Okay. I remember what's that Isaiah one. chapter 40, verse 8. Yes. Please pardon me. Isaiah 40, verse 8. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God stands forever. Amen. 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 Which, which version did you read? Can you please, or amplify? That, please, that was the amplify. Yes. The amplify. Amplify. Okay. I, let, let me try to convince here. Okay. I love the Amplified. Uh, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8. And the king According king. to the King James, it, it's also this. The grass withered, the flower faded, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The grass withered, the flower faded, but the word of the Lord abided forever. Amen. Amen. Hmm. The grass withered. I want you to understand it and listen attentively by the power of the Holy Ghost. If you understand it in the realm of the Spirit, it will make meaning and it shall be important unto you. It will be a light to your soul. It will be a listen to your weakness. It will be a healing and grow every weakness out of your soul in the name of Jesus. The grass withered, the flower faded, but the word of the Lord abided forever. Mm. Amen. Amen. What abides forever is the word of God. What stands forever is the word of the Lord. So if you want to abide, if you want to stand, if you want to live, attach yourself to the word of the Lord. My Lord. You don't live by the food you eat. You don't live by the exercises. There are more healthy people, healthier people that are tired. There are more people who eat better food than anyone else eats, and they're dead. Why? The word of the Lord abides forever. Amen. So you are living on your life. The word of the Lord is a man's life that does not consist in the abundance of things he or she has. Your life does not consist in the car. Your life does not consist in your bank account. Your life does not consist in the number of friends or relationships or business or, or, or the properties you have. The word, the, the word of God is your life. My Lord. What keeps you alive is the word of God. What keeps you moving is the word of God. Amen. What sustains you is the word of God. Amen. Amen. According to the word of the Lord in Mark chapter 13, verse 31, to 33, Mark chapter 24, verse 35, Luke 21, verse 33 to 35, all confirm that the heaven and earth shall pass away, but by the word of the Lord abide forever. Hmm. Mm. Heaven and earth shall pass 
away. So what does not pass away is the word of God. Amen. What does not expire is the word of God. Jesus. The only thing that has no expiring date is the word of God. Amen. Look at the time, Moses' time. The word of God is so funny and it's so accurate oh, yes. in our generation. And it is still doing what it yes. is to do. What others are upgrading their writing. What constitution have been going under change, being in change. The word of God has not changed. It is still the same. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So might it you will make an investment in such in the way. <coughs> so might if you will make an investment, I will encourage you and I will advise you to invest in the way. Mm. If you want to abide, attach yourself to the word of God that abides forever. If you want to stand among all atrocities, stand with the word and we shall stand. Amen. If you don't want to waste your life, stand on the word. Jesus. Invest in the word of God. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Invest in the word of God. Mark 13, 31 to 33. Mark 24 to 35. Luke 21, 33 to 35. They all say one thing. He says, the heaven and earth shall pass away. See, heaven and earth. But the word of the Lord shall abide forever. Hallelujah. Says, but my word shall not pass away. If you don't want to expire, if you don't want to pass away, then stand on the word of God. Attach yourself to the word of God. Amen. 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 Turn with me to the gospel of John chapter 1 verse 1 to 3. Yes, please. John chapter 1 verse 1 to 3. John chapter 1, 1 to 3. And the Amplify reads, in the beginning, before all time, was the Word, Christ. And the Word was with God. In the beginning, is that before, before creation, right. was the Word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Word is also interpreted as the Christ. In the beginning, our next meeting will be the Christ. <laughs> Amen. So when you say Christ, you must understand. In the beginning, before creation began, the world existed. That is why mighty, mighty, mighty Luke John they were saying that heaven and earth shall pass away, that the word of God yes. abide forever. Mm -hmm. Before everything come to being, the word of God was alive. The word of God was, was existing. Go ahead. Yes, please. And the part um, B. And the word was with God. And the word was God himself. Two. Mm. He was continued. Yes. After three. Mm -hmm. Yes, two. He was continually existing in the beginning, co-eternally with God. Three. Mm. All things were made and came into existence through him, and without him not even one thing was made that has come into being. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I believe I believe you really understood the scriptures you read. Yes. In the beginning, before time began with the word, and this word was all existently living with God. And the word itself was God, and the word was with God. Yes. yes. That nothing that there is, that there is nothing was created without the word. Yes. Everything that is existing in our generation. Everything 
everything that existed in the past, everything that is still existing, was existing because the word created them. Mm. Nothing is in being. Nothing is alive. Nothing is on this planet Earth. Nothing is in heaven. Nothing is in the sky. Nothing is in the atmosphere. That came by itself. Everything was created by the world. Hmm. Everything. Things it on earth. Things that move on earth. Things that move in the sea, in the water, in the sky, in the heaven. Everything, including the devil himself, was created by the world. Mm-hmm. The devil didn't appear by itself. The word of God says that nothing was created and everything read the three again. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the three reads, all things were made and came into existence through him. Oh. And without oh. him. Oh. 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 Yes. All things, not some things, yes. not have we, not other. All things. Can you say all things? All things. All things means all things. Mm. All things. So everything you can think about, visible, invisible, spiritual, in spiritual, whatever, mm. animate, inanimate, known and unknown, they were all created by the word of God. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. Nothing created itself. Nothing existed by itself. This proved evolution wrong. Hmm. Everything. Existing. Coming to being. Whatever you call it. Church. Viruses. Everything was created by the world. Don't ask me why did God create a virus? It was created for a temple. Hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. The devil himself was created for a purpose, mm-hmm. and she and I were also created for a purpose. Amen. 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 Continue with the three. The three says, where did it go? Okay, so the three reads again, all things were made and uh-huh. came into existence through him. And without him, mm-hmm. not even one thing was made that was that has come into being. And then four, mm-hmm. in him. No, oh, all three. Okay. Three. Thank you. He said, and without him, nothing that was made came to an existence without him. Hmm. Get it in your heart. Nothing that is in existence. Be me on earth, be me in the waters, be me in the air, hmm. be me spiritual, be me physical, be me emotional, be me in heaven, be me animate or inanimate. Nothing is existing without created by the word. Hmm. You get it? Hmm. Nothing, absolutely nothing. The word of God created everything. Amen. And everything is living by the word. Amen. Amen. Now, look with me. How can this word in your mind or in your heart? Let's go to the book of the beginning, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28. The created man. And take assignment. You have an assignment on earth if you're a created being. Okay. You have an assignment on earth. You have, you have an assignment over the sea. You have an assignment over the sky. You have an assignment over everything that keeps on earth. You are here on a purpose and an assignment. Amen. Amen. I'm sorry. Genesis 26. Genesis 26. Genesis 1, 26, 28, sorry. 
Okay. <clears throat> Genesis one twenty six going. It reads. <clears throat> Then God said, Let us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, make man in our image according to our God. Continue. Yeah. Okay. Wait. I'll return to this. Uh -huh. Then God said, Let us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Make man in our image, according to our likeness, not physical, but a spiritual personality and moral likeness. And let them have complete authority over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the cattle, and over the entire earth, and over everything that creeps and crawls on the earth. 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image and likeness of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. 28. And God blessed them, granting them certain authority, and said to them, Be fruitful, multiply, and fill the earth, and sub sub subjugate it putting it under your power and rule over dom dominate the fish of the sea, the birds of the air and every living thing that moves upon the earth. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. God said Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit let us Create man in our own image, in our likeness. Is it not not the physical being, a spiritual being? Did you read that portion? Yes, spiritual. A spiritual, a spiritual being. Where do we have our likeness? And what we want the spiritual being to do is that I want the spiritual being to control the earth. And every living creature on earth, he must also control every creeping thing on earth. He must control the sea and the fishes in the sea. He must control the air and the birds in the sky. Hallelujah. Amen. The spiritual man, God left nothing hmm. outside his control. Because let them have a complete dominion. <laughs> complete Hallelujah. dominion. So if you are a created man, the God man, anybody that can himself into an animal, you have complete dominion over that person. Yes. You have complete dominion over every living creature on earth. Mm -hmm. Whether visible or invisible, whether it's a ghost or non-ghost, whatever is being, in as much as it's in your domain, planet earth, in as much as it's operating in the waters, you have dominion. In as much as it's operating in the air, you have dominion. When they turn onto an animal that creep on earth, your dominion. When they turn to an animal that walk on earth, your dominion. When they turn to an animal that walk in the sea, you have dominion. Yes, when they so. turn into an animal that operates in the air, you have dominion. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When they come like tiger, in as much as they come on earth, you have dominion. Mm. In as much as they come flying. In the air, you have dominion. If they operate from the water, you have dominion, complete dominion. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Nothing was left under the spiritual man's control. So that is why you, when you invoke the spirit from the water, a, a created man has dominion to bind that spirit. Amen. 
Hallelujah. It is the book spirit from the tree. In as much as the trees are on earth, the spirit of man has complete dominion over that power. Whichever, whichever planet you are coming from, in as much as you pass through earth, you have complete dominion in the name of Jesus. Amen. That is the created man. And in a time, the created man has complete dominion. Hmm. The, the created man has dominion over serpents, dominion over scorpions, dominion over crocodiles, dominion over snakes, dominion over witches and wizards, dominion over sacrifices, over occultism, dominion over witchcraft. Dominion over sickness and diseases. Dominion over anything that operates on earth. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The created man is not an ordinary man. In order for me to shock you, go to Genesis 1. Uh, Genesis 1. Genesis 2. 20. Genesis 2, 7, rather, yeah. Okay, please. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Genesis. The created man, part 1. Genesis I will leave you. 2, verse 7. Then the Genesis Lord... Genesis 2, verse 7. Yes. Then the Lord hmm? God formed, that is, created the body of man from the dust of the ground, and breathe into mm. his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being, an individual complete in body and spirit. Amen. Mm. What other versions do you have again? Sure. I, I can read the King James, please. Okay, read the King James. And the Lord God formed man of the, yes. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Amen. Amen. But, but in chapter one, verse twenty-six to twenty-six to twenty-eight. Let us create man. Yes. Let them let them let us create man in our likeness. The spiritual man. And let them have complete dominion and authority over the over the earth and everything that creeps on earth and over every living thing on earth and over the sea and everything that lives in the sea and over the sky and everything that lives in the sky. That is God's idea of creating man. Amen. But in, in chapter 2 of verse 7, it says, and God formed man. Yes. From the dust of the earth. He didn't create man. He formed man um, yes. from the dust of the earth. And he breathed into his nostrils. My God. Mm. And the man became a living soul. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to, to I want you to know the difference between the created man and the formed man. Now, continue. From where you read, verse 7, continue. Okay, and the verse 8. And the Lord planted mm -hmm. a garden, an, o an oasis in the east in Eden, mm -hmm. the light land of mm -hmm. happiness. And he put mm -hmm. the, the man whom he had formed, created there. Mm -hmm. And in that garden, the Lord caused, caused to grow from the ground every tree that is desirable and pleasing to the sight and good, suitable, pleasant for good, for food. 
The tree of life was also in the midst of the garden, and the three and okay. the Okay. Genesis 2:15. So the Lord God took yeah. the man he had made and settled him in the garden of Eden to captivate and keep it. 16. And the Lord God commanded the man saying, "You may freely unconditionally eat the fruits from every tree of the garden." 17. But only from the tree of the knowledge, recognition of good and evil, you shall not eat. Otherwise, on the day that you eat from it, you shall most certainly die because of your disobedience. 18. Pause. Just now, pause. For the sake of time, the created man and his assignment part one. I want to end this by explaining the scripture. When you read, John 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and nothing was created, in other words. Yes. Everything existed is created by the word. There are good chapter 1, verse 26 to 28, says that, and God created, God said, let us create man in our own image, in our own likeness. Are you getting me? Yes, we are here. And let them have complete dominion. You know what he said. But when you form the man from the dust of the earth, he put he took the man. God took the man and put him in the garden. He didn't command the man to rule. The formed man, the mm -hmm. man from the dust. He only said he should keep and work in the garden. Did he, did, he, did he take notice of that? The dead man, God didn't tell him to rule. God didn't tell him to take complete dominion. No. God didn't tell him to take absolute dominion over the dead in the sky. He only said to him, keep the garden. Yes. You are free to eat the fruit over there. Yes. Did he take the notice? Did he take the notice? Yes. God never told the dead man to rule. Never. Because a dead man cannot rule. Hmm. An empty man cannot rule. That is why when the serpent came, he was unable to deceive the flesh because he was a dead man. Hmm. He was deceived simply because he was dust. A dust is not in the image of God. A dust is not in the likeness of God. A dust has not the mind of God. The dust shall return to the dust. Hallelujah. Amen. God picked the formed man, the man he formed from the dust, and put him in the garden. And the Lord commanded him to keep and to guard the garden. And he also said to be free to eat all the fruit except the one that ate, except the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The day you will eat it, he will die. And because he was dead, he cannot listen to the voice of the spirit man because he was not spiritual. He takes the spirit man to listen to the spirit. He takes the nap, he takes the death to listen to death. And God was not dead. And he created man in the form of death. Man must disobey. Mm, my word. Hallelujah. Your inability to obey the word of God puts you in the level of the dark man. Jesus. Your inability to flow with the command and the word of God that abides forever puts you in the level of the dark man. Where you can be deceived by the enemy, where you can be controlled and ruled by the enemy. And it is my prayer tonight.
life that every deception over your life, my life shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. That tonight there shall be a shift from the dark to the spirit realm. Yes, Lord. Amen. That tonight, Lord, there shall be a divine placement in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I will end here and take you through one or two prayers and we shall continue the, the created man and his assignment part two where you and I will discover from the perspective of the word of the Lord who is this created man in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By the authority of the Christ of God and by the Holy Ghost. And we will know. And we will make the decision. Either we will remain as that. Or we will accept the invitation to be the created men and the women of God. And take our dominionship, our complete dominionship. And we will rise to the task and the purpose for which we are created to the glory of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. We are going to pray. The Lord, let thy word bear fruit in my life. The word I have heard today, I pray thee, Lord, may it not be a different word. May your word come alive. May your word bear fruit in my life. Every mm-hmm. fruit I ought to bear from a of Lord God. I submit myself under the power of the Holy Ghost. May the kingdom reign. May the kingdom water. May the spirit of the Lord take over my in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. and cause me to bear fruit that you want me to bear in the name of the Lord. Amen. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My Lord and my maker, tonight we pray to you, O oh God, as we learn about the created man and his assignment. May your word become a life in our lives. We ask for the grace to bear fruit, O oh God, the fruit of righteousness, the fruit of grace, the fruit of favor, the fruit of sanctification, the fruit of strength, the fruit of power. He is the Lord. He is the one who has called us, O oh God. And this is how pleasing the Father was with us. Which is great tonight, oh God, by the power of the Almighty God, by the glory of God, we receive grace from on high to bear fruit of God. We receive grace from on high to bear fruit of God. We receive the purpose for which we are called by the grace of the Almighty God. Render the church in Kazusa, Randa, Nabada, Randebra, and Nabade, Renda, Buddha, Nabasha, Nabada, that is the tonight, oh God, the Lord God, our heart. Looking in the name of the Lord, our heart will receive the word of God. Our hearts will be made better than the name of God. That the word will not be displaced. The word will be ruled against us in the name of Jesus Christ. In every area of our lives. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus told a parable. Jesus told a parable. He said, someone went to sow the word. And so I went forth to show the sea. Some fell by the roadside, and the birds immediately came and eat it. Some fell on the stony ground, and because there, there was not enough root, as they sprang forth the wither, some fell in the tank. As they were growing, the tongue shook it and they died. Some also fell on the good ground. They grew and they bear fruit, some to hundred. Some to sit with, some to test it. You are praying to God, God, your word I have heard in my life will not fall to the roadside. No mm. bed will eat the word of God in my life. No tongue will choose the word of God. No shallow ground will work. Mm. The word fall onto a good ground of heart in my heart. The word will bear fruit in the name of Jesus. Yes. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Run the mm. mm. shit mm. mm. and I'm mm. I know that my neck, I pray. I subject myself mm. under the power of God. Mm. And Lord, after mm. I have prayed, I will mm. show together with God that mm. I will not be cast away, that I will not be rejected. I pray to you, oh God, that Lord God, I submit my heart, that my heart is right now. I pray to my God, that everyone under this prayer line, Lord God, that we will be here to 
by the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost. We let your word, Father, bring us peace. Bring us, Father, a clear and clarity. Clarity of mind. Clarity of life. Clarity in our family life in Jesus' name. Let us your word, oh God, take us and take control over every area of our life. Let it take over in the name of Jesus Christ. May the power, may the spirit, may the power in your word, Father, heal its fruit. Heal its fruit, Father, in our hearts, in our mind, in our soul, in our spirit. Father, may we not forget your word. May your word always be in our heart. May your word always be implanted in our heart. Father, to destroy, to bind, to cast out, and to break anything that is not of you. And we can apply it in our life. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, let your word heal it in fruit, oh God, um, in the area of our finances, in the area of our joy, Father, in our health, in our ministry, in the life of our family, in our children. Uh, let your word, Father, God, come alive. Uh, let your word, Father, grow in us. May your word never, Father, be removed from our hearts in the name of Jesus. We are very last prayer. If the sun fell on the tongue and the tongue shook it and prevented it from maturity, we are going to pray against any obstacles. We are going to pray against any unbelief. We are going to pray against any circumstances and situations that confront the word of God, that fight the word of God from being mature, from being come to fruitfulness. In our lives, the word of God says, "Is my word not like fire?" We pray to that Lord God. Any tongue, anything that shook the word, anything that confronts the word, mm. anything that prevents the word from having effective work, effective cause from being matured in our life. Today, let the fire of God fall upon us and let yes. all be destroyed in the name, in the name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. May the spirit in your word, uh, Father, cut them all down, uh, break them all down, uh, destroy them all down, uh, and we take back our power, we take back our strength, our health, uh, we take back our finances in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, anything that is not of you, oh Lord God, uh, that will bring things that is, will bring calamity, will bring destruction in our life, will bring trouble in our life. Uh, we use the power in your word, we use the authority in your word, we use the spirit in your word um, and we strike them down, we bring them down, we step on them. Father, as you have given us the power, the authority, we uproot um, every demonic seed, um, every satanic seed, uh, any witchcraft seed um, over our life, our ministry, our children, our health, um, over our joy, over our mind, uh, over our heart. Uh, Father, we throw them into fire. We throw them into your fire. We throw them into your fire. In Jesus' mighty name, let your way, Father, bring us sound, man. Clarity of mind. Clarity of spirit and, and heart. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, may your way, oh God, uh, bring us peace, Father. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for you. Every word of God that you have heard that has never come to pass to eat maturity in your life. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, I command it to write a case in your heart. Amen. Every word of God that you have heard, that is supposed to bring you healing, that is supposed to generate peace, that is supposed to come to maturity, that the circumstances and situation eat it up. Tonight, I command that thing to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray you and I pray to you under the power of the Holy Ghost. For the power of God to manifest in you, for the word of God to have its effective force in you, may the word of God that is quick and someone that do not want to get so working in our spirit, working in our soul, working in our body, working in our mind, working in our joints, working in our blood, and we contaminate our blood, be cleansed by the word of God, and we 
I'm glad in our body that is dead is brought to life by the word of God. And the peace that God wants to see in us so that you begin to bear the fruit of righteousness, the fruit of obedience, the fruit of power, the fruit of glory, the fruit of faith, the fruit of purity, the fruit of prosperity, the fruit of joy, the fruit of glory, the fruit of faith, and the fruit be there to bear before God so that your God is being blended forth with progression in the name.